Music production can be a very fun thing. Writing and recording a song can be the most thrilling experience that a songwriter can have. Putting all those tools together to make the best song that you possibly can is a sense of euphoria. But what do you do with the song after it's done? How do you get it to the most amount of people that you possibly can? And how do you legitimize your music by getting it on Spotify, on Apple Music, on Amazon Music, on Tidal, and etc.? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to best distribute your music easily in 2024 with four of the main services that I've used in the past. The first service I'm gonna be talking about is the one that a lot of people know about already and it's called DistroKid. For a yearly fee of $22.99, yes, just under $23, you can sign up with an account on DistroKid that allows you to release as much music as you want in that calendar year. We're not just talking singles, we're not just talking albums, we're talking as much music as you possibly can curate in that amount of time you can put out in that one year. Year. So if you have five songs, it's going to be $23 a year. If you have 10 songs, $23 a year. If you have a hundred or more songs, $23 a year. And DistroKid enables you to release your music everywhere. We're talking Spotify, Apple Music, Napster, Deezer, Tidal, Amazon Music, everything that you can possibly think of. DistroKid gets it there. Now here's what my dashboard at DistroKid looks like. Currently I have two songs put out on DistroKid, but I plan on releasing a lot more in the near future. I've got a song called Ladies and Gentlemen, and I've got a song called all that I am. Now, all of these little icons here are all the services that my music has been sent to. We're talking TikTok, we're talking Tidal, Spotify, Pandora, YouTube Music, Instagram, Apple Music, etc., etc., etc. Everything is there. So if you're making a TikTok reel and you want to include your own music in there, you can do that. If you're making an Instagram reel and you want to include your own music, you can do that. If you want to find it on Spotify and share it with people, all of those options are there for you. The easiest way to upload music is right here where you can upload video or you can upload music. You hit upload music and from there you kind of just say which services do you want your music to be sent to? How many songs are you going to be putting out? Has this single been previously released? Now there's this option for me to upgrade, but I have the most basic plan of DistroKid right now that I'm perfectly happy with, so I have no plan to upgrade. Which artist or band name am I doing? This one, Cost of On. It's found me in Spotify, it's found me in Apple Music, it's found me in YouTube Music, it's found me on Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if these things aren't there, it'll create pages for you. If you're a brand new artist and you've never released music before, then DistroKid will create Spotify pages for you, which you can then later on connect with through Spotify for Artists, which I'll explain in another video. When do you want your release date to be? So you pick the release date. Do you wanna do any pre-orders or anything like that? Now, the record label is one thing that DistroKid Kid doesn't let you change under the basic plan. If you want to adjust what the record label is going to be called, i.e. what brand you want your music to come out under, then you gotta upgrade to the next package that they have. I'm personally okay with it saying distrokid.com. I'm not really worried about what record label my music shows up under because know that 100% of the royalties do come back to me. There's a whole bunch of options here. For me, it's usually rock or pop. If there's a secondary genre, you pick that here as well. You upload your album cover. The album cover does need to be 3000 by 3000 square JPEG format. It's just a recommendation, but that's what they recommend. Your artwork cannot have a website address on it, Twitter handles, uh, pixelated images, anything like that. It needs to be a genuine looking piece of album artwork, okay? It's not necessarily a promotion that has like a website address or anything on there. It's your name, the song name, an image, and that's pretty much it. What is the song called? Uh, is there an artist that's featured on it? Is there like a version that you need to name it? Is there like a radio edit? And then you upload your audio file. From there, you can note if you are the songwriter or if someone else wrote the song, you'll denote who wrote the song here. Are there explicit lyrics, yes or no? Is there a radio version? Is this an instrumental? And where do you want the preview clip start time to start? So TikTok, Apple Music, iTunes, that kind of stuff. And then what price do you wanna put it at for iTunes? These are all a lot of options, but DistroKid lets you pick and customize all of them with putting out your music, as does all the other services that I'm going to be talking about, but I just kind of walk you through that real quick before we move on and talk about the other services. There's some extra options here that I won't necessarily get into, but you could do stuff like loudness normalization, which basically matches your song with the loudness of like other songs in your genre. Or if you pay a $29 one-time fee, then you don't necessarily have to worry about losing your music if you ever decide to move away from DistroKid. Let's say that, for example, you don't wanna pay the $23 anymore. You wanna move on to another service. You're not thrilled about the idea of paying a yearly membership to keep 
take your music up on the streaming services. Well, then you pay $29 per release that you've done through DistroKid and you can actually leave that there. So even if you cancel your DistroKid account, it'll still be there. You can always go back and recoup the money that you've made from royalties or anything like that moving into the future as long as you pay that $29 fee. DistroKid has some other cool features like Mixio, which gives you unlimited instant mastering. These are all extra, by the way. DistroVid, which does music video distribution. So if you want to distribute your video outside of YouTube or Vimeo or anything like that, you can do that through DistroVid. Bandzoogle, which is basically a service that allows you to build a website and store. And then a social phone number. If you want fans to text message you, but you don't want to give out your personal information, you can give them like your band or artist phone number for them to send texts to you. There's a whole bunch of other goodies like promoting yourself, special access, enhancing your music. You can get a free landing page through Hyperfollow. You can make mini custom videos to share on social media with your music. You can create a meme video generator. Uh, gorgeous visualizations to showcase your music, promo cards, and then a service called Upstream that allows you to connect with artists and labels. So DistroKid actually has a lot of great services for the $23 yearly price. And remember, that's not monthly. Yearly, you pay $23 to basically release as much music as you possibly want, get 100% of your royalties, DistroKid doesn't keep anything, and then you just go from there. Keep on releasing music and have a great time making it. Okay, the next service that I wanna talk about is a service that I've used for a long time called Called CD Baby. CD Baby is a service that through the name you can probably tell used to distribute CDs and still kind of does although they're moving away from that as the medium has unfortunately uh, gone the way of the buffalo if you will. CD Baby was a place where you could send them 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 copies of your CD that they would then put into a virtual store and then sell those CDs directly to your fans where they would ship it out to your fans. They would get a cut you would get a cut. It would be like your own distributor, if you will. And CD Baby had a very thriving business for a very long time back when artists were printing CDs left and right. Now that everything has gone digital, CD Baby has followed suit and has its own distribution model, a la DistroKid or any of the other services that I'm gonna be talking about today. The difference with CD Baby is there is no annual subscription fee at all. You actually pay per song or per album that you release. Now, usually it's $9.99 per song that you release on CD Baby. But keep in mind, that is a one-time fee that you pay and then you have that song up online forever. So you don't have to worry about paying yearly to have that song still be there. You don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. The song will be on Spotify, Apple Music, all that kind of stuff. As long as you want it to be, you can always cancel and have it removed from the stores later on but CD Baby will keep it there forever for the one-time price of $10. Now, as of this recording, there's actually a sale till December 3rd, so only a couple more days, I'm filming this on December 1st, where you can get it for $4.99. And I'll put the link to all of these things in the description box below so you have easy access. But for $5 at the moment, now usually the price is $10, so if you go there and it's $10, don't shoot the messenger, I'm just letting you know, it's usually 10. Right now it's five for only two more days, but it's gonna go back to being 10. You get your music on 150 plus global platforms. You can get your stuff on TikTok and Instagram. Free delivery to future platforms. So that's key if a service comes up a brand new thing that's the rival Spotify that maybe overtakes Spotify. You don't have to pay extra to get your music on that service. They'll distribute it to that service absolutely free. So that is key. You can get your songs on discovery tools like Shazam, which is huge. Consideration for promo services and playlist pitching. Um, you can get your fast pass verification. You can get a free UPC barcode and just a lot, a lot of stuff, right? They also offer services like trending and analytics. If you have a cover song and you wanna get licensing for that cover song, they help you out with that. You can actually still make CDs and vinyls if that's your thing and you wanna make physical media. I love that actually. I hate the fact that CDs are dying, but the fact that vinyl is coming back, huge, I love that. Now, what's really cool about CD Baby is that $9.99 price that it usually is, is not just per track, if you will. Now, if you wanna release one track one at a time, then yes, you'll be paying basically $10 per track. But if you have an album that you wanna to put together, you have a collection of 12 songs, 15 songs, 20 songs that you wanna to put together into one release, that is also just $9.99. So you can put out an album for just $10 to CD Baby, which will then distribute it out to the world and it'll be there forever under that album name, right? So if you wanna release the songs individually, which is becoming more the norm, you're paying $10 per song. Again, it'll stay there forever, no yearly fees. But if you have an album's worth of material that you wanna put out and you're in band or an artist that wants to put out album after album after album, now you're just paying $10 per album and it'll be there for the life of the music that you want it to be 
be there. The next service that I'm familiar with from stuff that I've done in the past is a service called TuneCore. Now TuneCore has recently changed their model a little bit, so I'll try to explain it as best as I can. They used to be a model similar to CD Baby, where you would pay per song or you would pay per album to put it out. And they had a really great track record of getting your music into stores really quickly. The model has changed a little bit as services like DistroKid have become a little bit more popular. TuneCore now has the same thing where you can basically pay a yearly fee and through that yearly fee, you'll be able to release your music online. So there's a couple options that you have here. There's actually a free option first and foremost that allows you to get your music released to all social media platforms. This is free by the way. They have some master classes that you can learn from, which is really cool again for free. And they give you sales reports from the stuff that's been on social media. Now, if you want your music to actually go on Spotify and Apple Music and that kind of stuff, then we're moving to the $19.99 per year plan. This gives you unlimited music to 150 digital stores across the globe, 150 plus. You can schedule your own release date, unlimited releases to all digital stores. You keep 100% of the revenue from those digital stores. You get your Spotify artist check mark, Apple Music artist verification. You can split revenue with other artists. You can do this through DistroKid and CD Baby as well. So if you've collaborated on a song with someone and it's a 50-50 split, you can signify, okay, you know, 50% here, 50% here, and then TuneCore and CD Baby and DistroKid will even that out for you and therefore you don't have to worry about it in the future. Now, if you want extra stuff like a daily trend report, or if you want to use a service of theirs like Cover Art Creator, if you don't have a service like Canva to make your own cover art or anything like that, then you're talking about the $34.99 a year plan. So $35 a year gets you some extra services. And then if you are a professional plan, the $50 a year, then you get a one business day customer service response time. You can do a custom label name, a few other services, and for an additional $15, you can add additional artists under your label, if you will. TuneCore has music publishing services as well that helps you collect your revenue from stuff like TikTok, YouTube, radio, live performances. They will help you monetize your compositions on YouTube, collect royalties from Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Facebook, sync licensing opportunities. So if there's opportunities for you to get pitched for a TV show or a movie or anything like that, TuneCore can help with all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of great features that TuneCore has. They've really done a great job of kind of rebranding what their services are. So I'd highly recommend recommend checking them out. I've used them in the past. I have not used this version of TuneCore, but I'm very curious in checking it out. And if you've tried it out, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Now, before I move on to the last service, if you're interested in subscribing and learning more about music production, songwriting, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you know when the next video will be coming up. Now, the final service I'm gonna be talking about is a service called Lander. Now, Lander historically has been a music mastering service, basically where you would take your final stereo track and you would upload it to their service and then their AI would kind of extrapolate your song, listen to the EQs, listen to the highs and lows, the volumes and all that kind of thing, and then kind of master your track, if you will, with compression and EQ and all that stuff automatically, and then give you three different options that you can choose from, and then you can download that track and that would be your master track. Lander has now gotten into the music distribution game where you can distribute your music to all the music services out there that we've talked about with the other three services, but they also offer not only the mastering, but a suite of plugins that you can use in your DAW of choice. For $100 a year through Lander, you get unlimited mastering, you get unlimited distribution, you get two million royalty-free samples, you get some plugins and instruments that you can use, collaboration tools, premium courses, and $2,000 worth of extras. However, if you pay $150 upfront per year, you get all of that plus unlimited wave and HD wave masters, and you get the Lander Mastering plugin, which is basically a standalone plugin that you can incorporate into your DAW to get some mastering going on there. So if you're not using Isotope, or if you're not in Logic and not using the new mastering tool that they have in the newest version of Logic Pro, then this would be a great option as well. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're planning on releasing some new music. First off, congratulations on finishing your music. That's super awesome. Second, which service do you plan on using? Are you gonna use one of the four services that I talked about in this video? Or are you gonna be using a completely different service? If you've used any of these services, what are some pros and cons that you think that you can share with everyone in the comment section down below? Subscribe for more content in music production, content creation, and the tech that we use to bring all of that together. Until next time, thank you so much for watching this video.